So let's walk through the setup of an adapter shade panel. And I'm going to use the long strap or the belly band, and it is 12 foot long, so I like to pre-stage the lengths to get them kind of close before I close it through the vehicle doors. And it's flat webbing, so it will seal in the rubber. But if you have something in close, use a short strap because it is preferred. It's a cleaner setup, keeps things tighter. But I also like to pre-stage our poles, straps, and stakes. And the length of our lever lock poles kind of gives you a rough idea of how far back the adapter shade panel is going to come from the rear of your vehicle. So I'll pace it out, I'll do my 45, go about four feet or so, put in my stake, and then I'll have everything ready to go for hooking to the vehicle. The corners, use your protective pad to protect your paint. Clip in the other side. You can see the wind start to pick up, and it was, it picked up that day. It was constant 15 to 20 gusting, a little bit more than that. But it's real world, it's a single guy setting up a shelter in wind. So I'll try and capture our lever lock poles, and I could do it better here. It's easier if you actually clip in the stake strap to the adapter shade panel first to give you better control, but like I say, we're learning from the video, it's real world. But what you will notice is when I finally cinch down on the stake strap, that really be starts to become solid. That lever lock pole is robust, it's an inch and a quarter at the base, and you can really pull down on it, and it'll hold its height without collapsing. It can be adjusted with an 8 millimeter socket to tighten up if it needs to be. But you can see that, that uh, panel, she's whipping like a flag, really cracking in the wind. And I fumbled through the second one as well, but you can see when I start to cinch down this second stake strap, things start to really get calm and start to get smooth. I'll go around and I'll adjust the corners. I'll adjust on the vehicle, on the Jeep side. And this is when I would start to think about what I want to attach to my adapter shade panel and the reason why it's a building block. You can see the shade pattern on the ground when I walk through it. And sometimes just the overhead is enough, but most times as the sun moves across the sky, you need that one wall for the shade, for the rain, for the wind. And that's why it ships with the basic components that you see here. So people can build it out as they need it. We have kit options, so you can make the sweet spot kit as we call it, but it's about the finding the balance. That balance of space in your rig, protection, that the Thermashield products provide both planned and unplanned. And it can get as crazy as you like. Here you see the Bedouin type setup. He has four panels attached to it. There's a lot going on here, but it's reducing that convection oven type effect that you get from normal tarps and normal shade structures. It can be as cool as you like. You can chill out underneath. Or it could just be as simple as you like. Maybe it's a quick stop. Doesn't matter. So when you get an adapter shade panel, either the Expedition or the light, we're going to talk about what comes in it and what's included. Mesh pouch, they come in the same mesh pouch. It's mesh for a reason, so you can see what's inside of it, or if it's a general use pouch. But also, so if you put your, your adapter shade panel away wet, it'll help it dry out, it'll breathe a little bit. So you get the adapter shade panel, you get two uh, stake straps, three quarter inch mil spec webbing, reinforced loops to go around the stake, side release buckles, keeps it tight in high winds. You get the belly band, right? The belly band is used for rigs that do not have roof racks on top, nor protrusions, uh, or it can be used in a sedan, for instance, or on a side by side. Very handy. You get Three short straps, right? The short straps are used for things that are close in on your rig that you want to attach to. It may be a roof rack, it may be a roof rack rail, etc., or a tree, or two motorcycles, depending on what, you're, what rig you're running. Roll bars work really good for that. And then lastly, you get two smart clip adapters, right? These smart clip adapters are very handy for out of the box attaching situations, using it with paracord and bungee, etc. We're going to go into it all. Today we're going to work on this Jeep here, but we'll have a series of videos showing different vehicles and different applications.
So what's the difference between the two adapter shade panel models, right? So the Expedition version and the light version, you can see here the little bit difference in size. It's also weight. Dimensionally on the vehicle, they're the same. The features are the same. The thermal reflective performance is the same. But if space is a concern or weight is a concern, if you're on a motorcycle or you're packing it in, etc., then you can see the light packs up smaller. The other difference is on the light, you can see here on one side, you can see the reflect tech is actually exposed. So that's the difference. The Expedition version has coyote color on both sides, right? And it has desert cloth on the inside, covering up the reflect tech. It makes it more robust. It's better for dragging across rocks, longevity, etc. That's the difference. So on each adapter shade panel, the detail that goes into it is what sets them apart. I'm going to show you the vehicle end, for example. So on each vehicle end, you got a chafing band. You have on each corner, you have the side release buckles and multiple Hypalon attachment points all around it. You open it up. Each corner has padding to protect your expensive paint on your rig. And what's even more critical is the adapter shade panel. The whole premise is it allows you to attach our regular Thermashield field blankets to the three remaining sides to build whatever size shade structure, wind wall, rain shelter that you need, whether it's a quick lunch or a Bedouin type camp overnight. Thermashield's performance was born here in some of the most harsh environments on Earth, to reduce the suck for those that go into harm's way by reducing the radiated heat that passes through and reducing the temperatures underneath. To treat for shock when something goes wrong, or maybe provide a little bit of relief off the side of your armored vehicle. Thermoshield's data is backed up by third-party testing, so we can enjoy it out with our family, out on some overland adventures, or maybe just keeping warm and having fun by the fire. The adapter shade panel is certainly not a one-trick pony, and it'll earn your spot in your rig. Check it out at our website at forceprotector.com, and have fun. <laughs>